Happy holidays. We're here for episode three of The Chef's Son. Uh, it's The Chef and The Son. And uh, what are we doing today? Uh, for the holidays, we want to be doing a traditional Puerto Rican drink. Uh, it's called Coquito. And that's Spanish for little coconut. <laughs> right? No? Bad? Well, Coquito, yeah, we would say little coconut. Also, when it's translated, it's a lot of people translate it into Puerto Rican eggnog. All right. However, this particular recipe doesn't contain eggs. And speaking of eggs, you're going to hear a hundred different variations on the traditional, uh, what's a traditional coquito, the, the authentic coquito. There really isn't. There's oh, so no, we're many. We're here to tell you that this is, this is the recipe. <laughs> There's so many families to There's the history. There's no such thing as any other coquito. I can't even fucking say this. Coquito. <laughs> well, anyway, sometimes coquitos, ha so some coquitos have eggs, egg yolks in some. Some of them don't have egg yolks. I prefer not to use egg yolks. One of the reasons why I don't like cross contamination. I don't want to worry about salmonella, anybody getting sick. Not only that, it lasts longer without egg yolks in the refrigerator. And we did eggs last week. Not so. that this lasts any longer. This goes immediately once once this is made. You don't really really get a chance to save this. So, uh, okay, getting back to it, there's a lot of different variations on this. What we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to learn how to do a, a regular coquito, the base coquito, and then we're going to try some different variations. Yeah, All we, right? got a, we got a lot of ingredients this time around, but don't worry. That's because, like Dad said, we're going to do some different versions here. So get ready for that, and uh, yeah. What's the main ingredient in coquito? Is this a trick question? Is this is a question. C coconut milk, probably. Coconut, right? Yeah. Coconut, coquito. It's coconut. So a lot of people ask, uh, what type of rum do you use? Authentic, authentic coquito is white rum. Okay. Uh, from what I know, for based on growing up, uh, my family, my aunts, they used to my my aunt used to make it with uh, Palo Viejo. It's a uh, brand of rum, or Don Cu. It's kind of hard to get Palo Viejo here. I know you can get it in Florida. You could definitely get it on the island. Or the always the, the go-to uh, Bacardi White. Uh, I've seen this done with uh, 151. I've seen it done with Myers Dark uh, Jamaican Rum. Uh, but you know, to keep it closer to home, traditionally uh, white rum. And basically, that that's those are going to be the main ingredients. Also, uh, another question they ask: Can kids drink coquito? Yes, if it doesn't have alcohol in exactly. it. Exactly. Cool. Right. Alcohol is not the main ingredient in here. Coconut is. So your, your children can enjoy it without alcohol. And if you're going to uh, have some, drink responsibly. So, Bob, this is all about uh, getting all these ingredients and infusing all these flavors together. So come on through. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with this. That was so kitchenly. Come on through. All right. So we can start with the coconut milk. Which is that. Okay, yeah. What am I doing with it? We're going to pour. We're going to pour all of these ingredients inside of this bowl here. Then we're gonna mix it. Both of those cans? Yeah, the two, the coconut, the coconut milk. This is coconut milk. Gotcha. So I just, I'm just again, just pouring it into the. Yeah, the easy pour. No, it's okay. Can I do it at the same time? You could do it, yeah, at the same time, but do it one at a time. No, don't, don't make a mess. Don't make a mess. We don't want a mess. Get the, get the can closer to the bottom. There you go. Gotcha, gotcha. Sorry, I made some splatter on the bowl there. Quick tip: and whenever you open one of these, take the lid and put the lid inside of it and then crush it like this, and then put it in the garbage. That way, the lid doesn't come out and cut somebody's hands. Now we're gonna use the cream of coconut. Now, this is really thick. Watch the way it comes out. Okay, you're gonna need a spoon. So get a spoon, get underneath it, or rather get around the side of it, and pour that, yeah, get in close, puppy. Easy, 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 don't let it splash, don't let it splash. Okay. There you go. Ooh, what was all that little, like, That's some gelatinous boy. shit in here? I don't know about that. Now you want to start stirring that around. So you got a perforated uh, slotted spoon there. So start mixing that around. You're going to feel that. You're going to feel that chunk of cream in there. You want to start breaking that down. You know, obviously, guys, you could, we can put all of this in a blender and blend it really quickly. Uh, but then this, uh, this episode will be like about two minutes long. So uh, we're going to take a few moments to show you by hand. And you know what? Many, many moons ago, our, our grandparents and their grandparents, they didn't have, they didn't have no blenders. blenders. They were blending like this. They just put their Bobby, do it, do it. Do the blend, do the blend, do the blend. <laughs> now, we're going to put in some, 
some sweetened. It's still not broken down. Though, so okay, well, that, that's good. You got it in there. It'll continue to break. Once you put the alcohol in there, alcohol is going to start breaking that up. Ah. All right. Now we're going to reach over here. We're going to use the sweetened condensed milk. That's really thick also. Put it in? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I was expecting that to not be as viscous as it was. Look, I could do my name in it. Ooh, look at that. Uh, I'm like Zorro with this shit. <clears throat> Leche condensada, el dulzada. Okay, zada. Carnation milk. Where's the evaporated milk? This does not take evaporated milk. This, what the, this particular recipe that I'm doing authentically doesn't take evaporated milk. A lot of people do put it in. I have evaporated milk for another one, a variation. But no, it's up to you if you want to put it in. Again, put it inside. There's so many different variations. Again, this is basic. Before we continue, I'd like to shout out Joseph Ortega, who gave us this wonderful suggestion to do Coquito, uh, who happens to be knocked out on my sofa oh, at yeah. the same time. And he he'll hasn't even with, drank one yet. He'll be Go ahead, just go get him real quick. He'll be joining us shortly at, at the end to judge it, but uh, there, there he is. It's, so, yeah. Next ingredient, uh, so a vanilla extract. Is this it? Half a teaspoon, yeah. Awesome. Put it in there? Yep, put it inside there. Got it. And uh, the last ingredient, a little bit of cinnamon. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, now you want to mix all that in there. That smells really good as soon as you I You know what? Those. I'm going to switch you over. I'm going to give you a whisk. Get that spoon out of there. It smells so good. Okay. Okay, and of course, we don't want to forget the rum. And now we will go ahead and we put the rum in. Oof. I just gotta say, I feel like my whisking skills have improved over three episodes of continuous whisking. You don't longer look like a velociraptor. <laughs> you look, uh, not, we should keep getting there. As long as you're comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Every I've single people, episode. I've seen a lot of chefs do things differently. As long as you're comfortable, that's what we get. All right, uh, take a taste of it. How is oh, it? It's very Coquito-esque. Coquito-esque? Yeah, my bad. Good. Sweet. Okay, guys. That's a basic coquito. Again, if you want to use condensed milk, put it in. Some people like the taste of condensed milk. Some people don't put condensed milk in. Some people use egg yolks. Again, it's up to you. It's your personal taste. So, uh, this is a basic one. Now, we're going to go ahead. We're going to do a variation on another one. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get this out of here. And uh, we'll put it in here. Let's get that funnel out of there. You might want to do this at home or give it away as a gift or something like that. Look at the teamwork here. Feels like a science project. Yeah. You know what? Hold on a minute. Let's get back. We're going to do the things. Let's do it right and not cause a mess in the kitchen. Much easier to use this spigot. Because it's got the little... Such a soothing sound. You drink this, you ain't gonna be hearing no sounds. All right, guys, you can put more cinnamon inside it. You can darken it a little bit more. Uh, again, it's totally up to you. Uh, when we give them away, <clears throat> grab a couple of these guys and drop a couple inside of the bottle just to infuse it with more cinnamon flavor. And like anything else, this is better the second or the third day that it's made. Give it some time to for those flavors to infuse in the refrigerator. Give it a good shake. But it's good to go right now if you want to do it right now. But uh, it will be better in a couple of days. So uh, we got this done here. We're going to transfer a couple of these things around. And we're going to uh, do a variation on Coquito. It's a pistachio. Pistachio Coquito. Pistachio. Pistachio. Is that why we have this guacamole? In? Yeah, well, it looks like guacamole. That's actually, guys, that is pistachio Paste, okay, uh, the authentic pistachio coquito is made with paste. A lot of people use pistachio ice cream. And how did this paste come to be? Okay. Uh, we went and we got some pistachios in the shell. Then we had everybody in the house open. <laughs> Start shelling them because we couldn't find them already shelled. 
right? Then what we do in order to get into this consistency, what you want to do is break open the, the pistachio, take them all, boil some water, and drop them into boiling water. That's blanching, like we did the last time. Maybe like a minute, take them out of there and shock them, put them into an ice bath. That stops the cooking process and it brings out the color. All right? Then once that's done, let them cool down, put them in a food processor and just mix them up and you'll get that. But if you don't want to go through all of that trouble, just go to the bodega or to the supermarket and buy some uh, pistachio ice cream. Okay. Look at uh, that. It'll come out really nice and light and silky and stuff. Pretty nice and supplement. And in the event that it doesn't come out green enough for you, you guys can always use uh, a hot one around there. Food coloring. A couple of drops of green food coloring will help with the color. And remember, you're not going to be doing this per drink. You're probably going to make a big batch of this, so you don't have to keep yeah. you know, doing that. All right, you know what? Since we already got most of these flavorings in there, we're going to go ahead and continue using this without cleaning it. All right? So let's do the same thing. We're going to take the two cans. Remember, pour them low. There you go. I'll get those cans from you. Hold on. Look, look. I can't do them. Sorry. <laughs> Cut that, cut that shit out. The next ingredient, uh, let's get that, that what is dense milk. Okay, that's milk. Okay, you don't wanna use a spoon to help you pour it out. It's really thick. Another reason I don't use the evaporated milk also is cause it's coquito. I'd rather, I'd rather exchange one can of this, right? For a can of, let's say this. What don't this you have Cause got the milk up. already inside of it. Plus, it's coconut, all right? So, uh, it's just going to fortify the taste. If you okay. could see the amount of cans this man has up here. No, you don't want to see that. Inside this little container, we have some almond extract, okay? Almonds, very closely related. It tastes up, it's very similar to uh, pistachio, so it's going to help flavor it, yeah. Then you want to put the liquor in there, and that's about a cup and a quarter of Bacardi Light. That should put hair on your chest. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that in there. Now you wanna. It's yeah. like a spatch or something. No, just grab the spoon. This one? Yeah, that's that'd be cool. Even though it has all that in it. Go ahead. Just bring it in. Yeah, yeah. Put it inside. All right. Get your whisk. Okay. Easy, easy. Don't agitate it too much. It's gonna come out over the over the thing. A lot of chunks in this one. Let me feel it in there. Maybe we should let the professional handle the. No, I don't work. The stachio whisk. Smell that. Whoa. Whoa. That's amazing. That's right actually kind of nuts. Wow, that's Get incredible, the man. <laughs> Get the so, uh, so take a look at what we have in there. All right. Uh, it's got a couple of chunks inside there, so a bit chunky. You might want to run this and strain it through something if you like to. Uh, again, we did this inside of a bowl. Uh, ideally, it would be better to do it inside of a blender. I think it's a little light for me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of food coloring. Okay, you can get these, they come in these little boxes like this. And uh, they come all uh, different colors, they come in blue, green, all primary colors, and it has a little chart there, and it teaches you how to make different colors. Uh, is it really? You can light blue and all of that stuff. It's pretty cool, right? Oh yeah, it is pretty cool. Actually. Be careful with this. Don't get it on your apron. That's very difficult to come off. It will never come off. How many drops? Always you start, Small. maybe two. Remember, you could always put in, but you can't you take, take it back out. Yeah. So just put two, two drops. drops. Easy, one, two. Don't mix that. Oh, it's See so fun. It <laughs> get, up in, get up underneath it. So, Dad, what's in food coloring? Coloring. <laughs> Die, you little shit. <laughs> he does it every episode. He just waits. That's okay. No Christmas, bro. But I got, we're going to make a cold flavored coquito after this. I hope you like it. So, there it is, man. This, that's, that's all there is to that. Uh, taste it. Oh, that's strong. That is strong. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Damn straight. 
Hold on. We got a clog. We got a clog. We got a clogger. Clogger. He has a tool for that. <laughs> The funnel clogger, yeah. The funnel clogger. The funnel unclogger, Dylan. Got no time to play. The United States Marines are in the house, baby. I wouldn't put cinnamon sticks in this one. You can if if, if you like the taste of cinnamon. But it will take the taste of the almost if you if you taste marzipan before, just what it tastes like. It smells like. Alright, so again you could put that in a nice little tin or with a basket and give it away as a gift. Two down, one to go. What are we doing for the last one? Chef Rod. So. This is if we're getting elegant with it. Shake and not stirred, please. Okay, you can take a little bit. You just had those up there. Unless you could probably on, even float on, one on, of these, try to yeah, try to float. It might be too heavy. Well, you know, I'll I try. It, <laughs> I'll give it a float. And his is way better. <laughs> okay, so that that's one way. Uh, if you didn't have a martini glass, if you have one with a flatter bottom uh, or longer cinnamon sticks, they will hang out. But but you get the idea. Could also put it in a plastic cup. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Put it in a red cup, one of them beer cups. There ain't nothing wrong with that either. Some red drink, it, drink it straight from the bottle. Drinking, baby. All Depends right, how your uh, holiday's going. So that's both of them. Those are our first two. And Bobby, our, our last one is going to be a variation on Coquito. This one is a Bailey's Strawberry Cream Coquito. This is the one I'm most excited for. Okay. This is a variation on this. I've done this before. I've also done this strawberry cheesecake coquito. Also, guys, the other variations, Nutella, banana, guava. You know, so uh, the sky's the limit. It's up, it's up to you. Roasted chestnut flavor. You, you said guava, and it just resonated in the kitchen. Like, I heard it behind Say it again, say it again. Guava. You hear that, right? Oh, you <laughs> like that shit, son? hear that shit back there. Cha-cha-cha. Uh, is up cold or down cold? Stick your hand in it. You don't know what's going to <laughs> You need help? Not yet. You know what? You're, you're going to just do this naturally faster, so go for Thank it. Thank you. A lot of the comments what? aren't even Bobby can't do it. They're Bobby can't do it. basic things in the kitchen. <laughs> Like, Bobby doesn't know what his wrist is. Dylan, I will fucking punch you. Andy, this is for you, okay? I'm not fucking this one up. This has been okay, pretty good so far. Too, yeah. Again, it's putting the, the same basic ingredients, start it again. Uh, doesn't have to go in any particular order. But let's be consistent. Sure, why not? Get that coco leche. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get that condensed milk. There you go, bro. Here you go, Rob. Get all of that out. That's 79 cents in there. I have to stand in the line and stop and shop for that shit. All right, that's enough. You're going to take the, the metal off of the damn bowl. Sorry, we did this joke already. This is the liqueur. All right. Very strawberry. Oh, look at that. This one's not as thick. You don't have that. Oh, that smells really good, too. It does, yeah. And I'll tell you guys, uh, we are taking some strawberries, some regular... Is that a puree? Yeah, some regular strawberries. We didn't put sugar in it or anything. Remember, that's already got sugar in it. You don't want to make a sugar bomb. So I'm going to just take that and put it in there. And again, if you want to change the color, we have some uh, red. Food coloring, get closer there so you can actually see it. <laughs> do, 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 do. Easy, easy, easy. Mm. It looks like strawberry Nestle's quick. It's not, kids. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kitties. You're gonna be sleeping for a long <laughs> time. You'll be sleeping real fucking Nest quick, that's for sure. Okay, guys, one thing that I'm gonna, by, by the way, taste it. Hell yeah. 
That's the ones on the fucking money. That is fire, yo. I made that. Oh, this guy's got the fucking glass. He even has the right shape of glass. With the strawberry set to go. That's ridiculous. Look at that. That's great. Or you could put it in a flute. So wait, you had two separate glasses ready to go with the strawberry on the... You and the Marines, so this is the way it's done. This it's is how voice. it's This is how it's, it's done in the Marines. Boy Scouts here, baby. Uh, the Coquito? Well, you know what? This is what I would do with the Coquito. Maybe put it in a flute, change it up. No. I would take a container like this, a squeeze bottle. Take your cup like this. What is it? What's going on? And create some kind of design inside of your glass like that. Right. Take this and put it in the freezer. I already got some in the freezer. It's like fucking Zoom. Wow. When they do the, the science. What the hell? This shit looks like the Coliseum. Damn. I think it's time to taste one of you. Here we are. This is quite elegant, if I do say so myself. You got it. So this uh, for the holiday festivities, a couple of variations on coquito, traditional or not. Uh, remember, make it make it taste the way that you want it to taste, as long as it tastes good to you. Also, here on the side, we have our Puerto Rican charcuterie board. Uh, charcuterie board. The charcuterie board. Uh, everybody remembers this, right? Everybody, uh, if your aunt came over or your abuelita, you get the pasta de guayaba with the queso de papa, mortadella, salchichon, rich crackers, of course. Remember, Familia, if you do decide to put the alcohol in it, drink responsibly. That's the most important thing. Oh, yes. And we have some helpful elves to come and taste test our coquitos today. So why don't you guys all come in? Eh. Come on down. I'm not driving anybody home and nobody's staying here tonight. <laughs> so this one uh, again, pistachio. Uh, which one? This one was pretty strong. Dang. So for those of you who like it strong, this is a pistachio. Yeah, sure. This yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, a yeah. regular coquito. I'm getting the strong one. This is the Bailey's. Yep, I want Bailey's. <laughs> so here, that's one Bailey's I'll take, there. I'll take this one. And no drinking, no driving. Arrive alive, y'all. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us in our kitchen. We appreciate it. We uh, wish you guys a very, very happy holidays. <laughs> and from our family to you, happy holidays. And stay healthy, stay happy. And don't Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas. Peace, y'all. Be easy.